If you want to maintain that, the number one thing you have to prevent is a broad alliance and a willingness of people to accept their differences. As long as you've got people willing to kill each other, whether it's online or in person, over cultural values yes. rather than accept, I'm willing to accept that that's how you live as long as you accept that's how I, I exactly. live. Exactly. Then it's over. As long over. as you can keep people at each other's throats, then you can continue to manipulate them. Then it's an easy chess game. And we get caught up in these ideological battles and all the while they're inching us closer to nuclear war pushing dangerous pharmaceutical drugs into our lives and establishing narratives that are not based on fact at all next thing you know we have something that's very similar to what's going on in china we're not that far away from something like that happening here all it would take is a large disaster some sort of an attack some sort of a terrible scenario where a bunch of people died and they had to change the rules in order to protect us and next thing you know, you're fucked. As soon as people come together and they realize, like, hey, we have way more in common than we do difference. What do we really want? Everyone wants a safe neighborhood. You want good education. You want healthy food. You want people to be able to pursue their dreams. You want people to have a good time. And the more people you're around that have a good time, the better the quality of your life is going to be as well. The better the quality of life in your entire neighborhood. And if you have this mentality of great fortune and not a famine mentality, not have this mentality that all the success has to come to me and all these other people can go fuck themselves. And if instead you go, wouldn't it be better if we all just did our best to work together as a community and just accept people for their differences and recognize that most of these differences are kind of bullshit. I don't give a fuck what music you like, what yeah. movies you enjoy, or how you like to dress. I don't care. If you think about your own life and your own pursuit of happiness and your own interests and concentrate on that more than you do stopping people from behaving in a way that you're ideologically opposed to, and that ideology, you're probably manipulated in some way, shape, or form. It's so obvious to see how it's being set up, and the only way we're going to get out of this is if we, the collective all of us recognize this stupid game that people are playing.